Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder Reacts here with a uh, reaction to the Nintendo Switch event. It just concluded. Um, I have not compiled any actual thoughts on this, it's just the reactions of what transpired. Um, going through the conversations I had with former co-workers, which I'm going to do a more in-depth sit-down with them as well. Uh, for the, uh, the, the Some Nerdy Arguments podcast, we're going to do that, uh, which I'll have a little bit more coherent thoughts. Uh, and then the conversations with Culix as well, as we were joking around for it. So, the Switch announced, they didn't talk about technical specs at all. I kind of figured they wouldn't, because that's Nintendo, they don't really do that. They did announce the price at $299. Little... I would have preferred the 250 That was the really perfect sweet spot for them, I, I felt. But that's... $299 is not terrible, especially with all the crap that they're throwing in it. Because they're giving you the Switch, the dock... The, the the joy con the the joy con controller adapter and then the the wrist straps because we didn't learn this from the Wii a lot a lot of fun stuff so and then you know a portable AC adapter as well so that's not bad not bad um, still wish they'd hit the 250 sweet spot um, it does have amiibo functionality which uh, we saw that coming they're not gonna throw away amiibo that's been a cash cow for them uh, as of you know, the, the Wii U, like, it's, except for the whole forced scarcity thing, it's been working really well. Um, the, the one thing I will say about the event, the translators can killed it for me, because they just kept, mm, like, ah, oh, they either had no personality, or was just like, uh, and I get translating live speech can be really difficult, but it was just, that was painful. That was painful. Uh, some of the stuff that they showed, uh, you can, it has the, uh, weird glass thing. I, they, they, it can tell you how many ice cubes are in the glass. And then the, the IR sensor that can tell you how far away things are. It's neat for, you know, uh, kind of upgrade to the motion technology that they were using on the Wii and Wii U. And, uh, upgrades to rumble technology. Because I see that's going to be interesting. But my question is, is it going to be in both pieces? Uh, otherwise, like, one of them is going to rumble, the other one's not. It's going to be kind of funky to hold. Like, one hand is going to be able to register sensation, the other one's not. The other one's going to be able to register distance. And, the other. It's, and I think they are, it seemed like they were kind of split between the two, which is weird. Then he showed off some live-action cringy stuff, uh, which just kind of, yeah. Uh, but the stuff that they were showing off for the live-action looked good. Uh, interesting set of mini games that looked like it could be fun. It reminds me very much of like the mini games that came with Kirby Superstar. Uh, I, I really think they could do well with that. I just think that was really badly, badly designed and marketed for that because the the real life cringy stuff, like guys dressed as cowboys or no, no, it's it's bad. Uh, the same goes with the uh, the the arms game that they showed off, the punching game. Which, that looks like it could be a lot of fun with the live-action stuff of, like, the guy in the, the, the dress shirt beating up a schoolgirl and vice versa. That was just... Uh, I just... The game looked awesome. The marketing for it looked like crap. Uh, thankfully, that was the end of the, the bad marketing for the, the entire event. So, um, ARMS... We, we joked around about that being Box Springs. And then they had the Mario game. Uh, unveiling, which looked really neat. It reminded me of Sonic Adventure because you've got Mario, who looks like he does, in a real-looking city with normal-looking people and completely out of place, like a like five-foot-tall hedgehog talking to normal people on the beach. It was weird. It was a little, little funky. Uh, but the game itself looks amazing, and then you've got, you know, Mario and Bowser as odd job throwing hats at each other, which, you know, I can't really say anything about, so, um, but Super Mario Odyssey is the, the, the official title of it, and we saw a little bit of that in the original Switch launch trailer, so I'm kind of surprised that that's going to be out as early as it is. I forget what date it was. It's not a launch title, but it's, it's I think it was summer, um, but then, um, oh no, that one was holiday season. That one, I think, was holiday. 
And then we got into the games that really blew me away. We have Xenoblade 2, which that's already just an instant win for me because I love Xenoblade. Xenoblade Chronicles X was, you know, I, I thought it was neat. It had a lot of improvements on Xenoblade, but then also a lot of things that I, I'm not such a fan of. Uh, but fantastic series. And the fact that they're doing this one, this one looks a little more cartoony, a little less super serious, which I think is going to work well for them. And it's all going to boil down to, do they keep the original Xenoblade combat? And uh, this one looks definitely more story-driven, which I think is going to be really good. And then uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. The second I saw that one, I'm like, shit, I'm done. I, I'm, I mean, I was already planning on getting one of this, but now there's games that actually really look awesome. Because I like the Fire Emblem series. And I like Musou games, so this is going to be this is going to be fun. Uh, and then Atlas kind of came out and showed a bunch of stuff. Uh, they've got a new Shin Megami game that's going to be there um, that looked awesome, uh, especially since it's done in Unreal Four. That looked it was just a teaser trailer. Chances are that's not going to come out for a while, especially if you know you know Persona Five is any sort of indicator of what their timetables are like. Uh, working on games like this, so I'm not expecting it anytime soon, but still, something to look forward to. Uh, then they had um, Octopath Traveler, which looked really good. That looked like just looking at it, it's like, hey, turn based RPG. I'm already sold on this because I really don't feel like we're getting enough of those. Uh, the Sega section really was non information. Yay, thank you, Sega. Uh, I was expecting them to say Sonic Mania was going to be on the Switch, but they didn't. Uh, I already. I know we've heard that Project uh, Sonic Project 2017 is supposed to come out on the Switch. I was really expecting them to say Sonic Mania. If Sonic Mania comes out on the Switch, uh, that's another reason for me to hate Sega, because I really want to play that game, but I really don't want to give them money. But uh, And then we talked about, they said Skyrim. I don't know if it's Skyrim HD or just Skyrim. Either way, the people I was talking to seem really excited about it. I kind of hope it's the HD remaster. But either way, it's Skyrim on, on the go, so that's going to be kind of neat. Um, what else? Uh, uh, Suda51, so uh, Travis Touchdown, no word on if it's No More Heroes 3 or it's going to be something completely different, but hey, something new. Um, and then EA talked about stuff I don't care because it's EA Sports, and that's kind of the most non-committal thing like EA is like oh we'll put this some sports stuff instead of like we're going to put like main EA titles not EA Sports uh, which I know EA Sports is a huge division but still it's like it seems like oh EA supporting it with sports games like I said a little non-committal to me um, but all in all that was pretty good what else we got uh, what else we got uh, Breath of the Wild finished everything out and they confirmed it's going to be a launch title, so that's really enough to kind of sell the system. Um, you've got, you know, a good Mario game, you've got uh, a couple of good RPGs. Uh, Splatoon was in there, I, f I completely skipped over Splatoon because we didn't really talk much about that. Uh, the fact that it's a sequel uh, instead of just a remake, which kind of makes me wonder if the Mario Kart is going to be a Mario Kart sequel or Mario Kart Re redo. They didn't talk about any of the stuff that I was expecting, like GameCube games coming, or Wii or Wii U games coming as far as Virtual Console. They didn't talk about Virtual Console at all. So, I know they're still going to be talking about a lot of the stuff as it, it releases, um, and the fact that the release date is a lot sooner than I was expecting. A lot of the, the rumors were, like, March 17th, somewhere in that time frame. It's March 3rd. It's, like, considerably close, like, you don't think two weeks makes that big of a difference, but uh, that's, that's kind of a big deal. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, I was already kind of interested. I was planning on getting a Switch anyway. This really just kind of goes, okay, there's actually stuff that I was interested in. There's some good RPG titles, some good platformers. That's what I look for. Uh, and then, you know, I never picked up, uh, or I never really played Splatoon on the Wii U, because I wasn't really interested in a lot of the gyro controls. That's one of the things I was kind of bummed out about Star Fox. So, do, if they continue this trend of we're going to throw, you know, Wii U titles on the Switch with, like, pseudo-sequels, and that, that's... Uh, 
yeah, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Because, you know, it's going to be interesting to play it on the go and on the TV. Uh, the battery life was really interesting. They said anywhere between two and a half and six and a half hours. That's... The two and a half is kind of low. That's that's actually really uncomfortably low. Uh, but the six and a half seems really interesting. Because that's a lot longer than people were expecting it in terms of its maximum. Everyone's kind of saying about three hours, give or take. Uh, so this one looks like maybe three and a half to four is, is a nice sweet spot, which would be fantastic. That's decent battery life, especially with, you know... Uh, built in or uh, the charger that comes with the, the the console so that's all in all I think Nintendo did really well I think they could have skipped a lot of the live action stuff in the beginning uh, but I think they they led with a good uh, they, they put a good foot forward uh, hoping they continue this trend of good marketing because that's really integral so uh, let me know if you saw the 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 event what you thought of it uh, if you didn't see it and you're just kind of interested in what's going on from here, uh, let me know. Thoughts, opinions, feelings, etc., etc. Um, I'm going to go sleep now because it is late here. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this. So, like I said, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Uh, are you planning on getting a Switch? Are you not? Uh, did this change your mind? A lot of discussion. So, anyway, I will see you all in the wonderful comments when I wake up in the morning. So, till then, later, everyone.